National championship game is over. Alabama beat Clemson 45-40 to in an instant classic. This game was awesome all the way down to the end. However, what I'm going to be talking about is the onside's kick. A lot of people are wondering why Dabo Sweeney was so upset and yelling at the referees. It was his mistake, his team's lack of awareness that cost him possession there, right? But if you look at what he's saying to the referees, he's yelling at them, he can't catch the ball. And I'm pretty positive that he's right. Um, according to the rules as I understand them, and according to RollTideWarEagle.com, which is an officiating site, it's for the kicking team to recover an onside kick, the ball has to either touch a receiving team member or travel 10 yards and touch the ground. Now, the ball definitely traveled more than 10 yards. It went 14, 15 yards downfield before it was touched by a kicking team member. However, the ball never touched the ground. The kicker popped it up in the air and then the kicking team member caught it at like the 50. If that's the case, when the ball is still in the air, the receiving team has to be allowed the opportunity to catch the ball until it hits the ground. Once it hits the ground, then the, then the ball is live and free for the kicking team to recover it. However, if the kicking team member catches the ball before it hits the ground, then that's supposed to be called catch interference and possession of the ball should be given to the receiving team at the spot that the kicking team member touched the ball. I hope I'm wrong, and I could be. I wasn't able to read the NCAA official rule book because the NCAA charges for you to be able to view their rule book because that nonprofit organization is awesome. But in the end, this is too good of a game and too classic and too fun of a game to have this black mar asterisk next to it for this quite game-changing no-call. But this game wasn't solely decided by this no-call. Really, a bigger problem for Clemson and a bigger reason why they lost was that they couldn't stop the tight end, number 88, who ran all the way up and down the field all day, got over 200 yards, multiple touchdowns, and was just burning them and uncoverable all night. And I hope that this onside's kick doesn't tarnish the reputation of this uh, national championship game because it was the best national championship game since probably Texas versus USC. So fun stuff, fun times. If you find an amendment to that rule, makes my heart a little bit lighter. Please post that in the comments down below, and thanks for watching. Yay!